Good morning, Springton Lake. Today is Monday, March 8, 2021. Today is a day number two. At this time, would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. A very good Monday morning to everyone. I hope that you're all doing well and that you all had an enjoyable weekend. It certainly was nice out this uh, weekend. We have a bit of an abbreviated week of school, so please pay attention to the important details. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, today's a day number two. Tomorrow will be a day number three. And Wednesday will also be a day number three. So we have a day number two, followed by a double day number three. Now on Wednesday, we'll be having a flexible instructional day so that your teachers can spend some time planning for the rest of the year and setting up their classrooms for the possible return of more students. So everyone will be learning from home on Wednesday. You'll log on for a live homeroom at 9.30 a.m and then you'll have a short lesson and assignment for each of your day number three classes. You'll be able to work on those activities at your own pace, but everything that's assigned on Wednesday will be due by the time that you go to bed that night. Now on Thursday and Friday, there is no school for students. We have parent-teacher conferences, so you'll have an extra long weekend to enjoy. As I shared with you on Friday, exciting news for the spring sports season. We are cleared for takeoff and we are moving forward with the season. We have several schools that have expressed an interest in competing with us this spring, so that's really good news. So what now? Well, two things that you can do to be ready for April 5th. First, get that sports physical. Completed PIAA forms for the spring sports season are due by Friday, March 26th. Second, sign up. Use the link that I provided to you in Schoology to sign up for a team. The sign-up will be used to provide your coach with a list. Now, for our tennis players, as I shared with you, we are going to be offering tennis as part of the intramural program. Unfortunately, none of the schools that we're competing against this spring will be having a tennis team. So stay tuned for more details about tennis, as well as the other intramural offerings. We'll be sharing that with you in the coming weeks. And again, tennis for intramurals will be open to all grades six, seven, and eight. Now, don't forget, we have less than three weeks to go in the third marking period. So stay on top of your work and reach out to your teachers if you need assistance or if you have any questions about something that you may see in Hack. Since you'll have a little bit of extra free time this week, listen up to this announcement from Students Against Destructive Decisions about a contest that you can enter. And yes, there are prizes. Hi, we wanted to share with you that the Students Against Destructive Decisions group is sponsoring a poster contest where the theme is alcohol, tobacco, and other drug awareness. What is this contest all about? Students Against Destructive Decisions, or SAD, is sponsoring Holcomb Behavioral Health System's 33rd Annual ATOD Awareness Poster Contest. This is a countywide effort to encourage youth to value healthy lifestyles, to think about the consequences of alcohol, tobacco, and other drug use, and to express through art what they think and feel. Winners receive awards, public recognition, and will be featured along with their posters in the 2022 calendar. Here is what you need to do. Posters need to have positive themes. The message this year is about not doing drugs, tobacco, alcohol, or vaping. Here are some ideas of what to draw. Healthy ways to deal with stress, resisting peer pressure, tobacco slash vape free me, friends helping friends make healthy choices, I have better things to do than drugs, choose healthy activities instead, take a stand against drugs, and healthy minds, healthy bodies. The prizes are, for the best overall, a $200 gift card, 
For the best art, a $200 gift card. For the best message, a $200 gift card. And for grades six through eight, the first prize is an $100 gift card. The second prize is a $75 gift card. The third prize is a $75 gift card. And the fourth prize is a $75 gift card. Poster guidelines. No names directly on posters. Name, address, phone, and grade must be written on a post-it note on the back of the drawing. Posters must be drawn with markers, crayons, colored pencils, or ink pens. Be sure to press down hard so the color stands out. Posters should reflect students' original messages. Ideas copied from published posters or past ATOD awareness calendars will be immediately disqualified. Posters should be colorful and contain simple, clear messages. Violent scenes, brand names, and copyrighted images, characters from cartoons or TV, will be disqualified. Posters must be drawn on white, 8.5 x 11 paper, landscape orientation, 11 side horizontal. Any other size art will, will be immediately disqualified. Posters w with misspellings will be immediately disqualified, so if needed, ask for help on grammar or punct punctuation before submitting. How you would submit. If you're interested in submitting to this contest, please include your name and grade on a post-it note and attach it to your submission. You can turn in your submission to the main office by Friday, March 12th. If there are any questions, please contact Mrs. Devisai or Mrs. McGow. Okay, Spartans, let's do this. Make the most of this shortened week. Work hard and be a little extra kind to one another. And of course, keep practicing those safe habits. Mask up, wash up, and back up. This concludes our announcements for today. I thank you for your attention. And as always, let's make it a great day. Or not, the choice is yours. <laughs>